this exhibition brings together all of the new technology. So it's like a showcase for some of the things that we're working on. So the companies that we work with to help scale their technologies up are represented here today. So we've got everything from additive manufacture, 3D printing with metals, all sorts of fantastic measurement systems now, and lots of stuff on composites. I do the show because really very high technology density. And especially when you look at the different sectors that are here in terms of the automotive, aerospace, materials, key technology areas. I believe it's an incredible opportunity to take a look at a lot of different vendors, a lot of different functions and disciplines. It's been well laid out, well thought through. I think the mix has been very good. An exhibition like this, with the wide range of different applications you'd see here, it really fits us all to exhibit together. The show's great. It brings together all aspects of manufacturing industry, and the engineering community as well. The Open Forum conference that's running alongside is also a great opportunity to get the word out to people. Um, the way that you get a good mixture of academics, advanced technology from the vendors and also the end users who are moving the sciences around manufacturing forward, it's really important this type of event. We have vendors with vision systems, we have metrology, we have an enormous opportunity here to bring in that type of knowledge into building our future factories. I think shows like this are about giving people ideas. And this show gives us that platform to actually stand up, shoulders back, be proud of what we do. We make parts for people that want to buy them. Well, it's the highest concentration of advanced engineering in the UK. It's a vibrant show that a lot of people come, not necessarily advertising, but it's a good opportunity to network and be part of the community. We've been coming for several years now, and this show is probably one of the first ones that we pencil into our calendar every year when we're doing our marketing budget. It's the premier spot for UK composites. You have to be here. We get great results every time we've come. I think this is our fourth year. It's always a highlight of the calendar. We get the right type of visitors, both engineers and decision makers, and it's in our target audience as well of automotive and aerospace. It's great. It's perfect organization, and it gives us a really good chance to get in touch with different industries, ranging from students or technicians, decision makers. It's really good, yeah. We're here because there's lots of exciting UK-based engineering companies here. They're the sort of companies that we want to engage with. We want to advertise the opportunities that we can offer. We have funding opportunities. We have the opportunity to connect them with other companies and generally encourage UK businesses. It covers a lot of the key uh, industries in the UK that we're interested in drawing members from. We're reasonably well known within the automotive industry, but you still have to be at places. Yeah, and this is one of the places to be. We've got over 650 members and a majority of them are based in the West Midlands. There's a huge automotive cluster and community around here. And there's a good variety of different sectors represented. We need to make sure that our industry is at the centre of, of what's happening. So it makes sense for us to be here. A presence at the show, certainly from a profile point of view, and a customer awareness is essential. MSP are keen to be at the show because it enables us to meet with other like-minded, high-tech manufacturing companies to try and drive forward new technology. We meet a lot of people from different industries. It's interesting to see that you have uh, aeronautics here, you have automotive, you have production industry, so a lot of interesting customers for us. Well, this is a very good opportunity to network with other communities. We are here today with our peers and counterparts that we already know within the industry to grow our presence within the market. We come here because it's an excellent way to network with our members, with prospective members, and to look at new technologies and to compare ourselves with other metals and other technologies. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I came here three years ago walking around. I was absolutely inspired by it all. And a lot of what we do is on the back of what we've actually learned from this show. Well, we came here last year as visitors uh, and frankly liked what we saw. It's a nice friendly show. It's got a scale of diversity about it that attracted us. It seemed a no-brainer because the railway sector needs so much of what's going on here. Year in, year out, this show has been very uh, successful for us in terms of meeting project engineers and managing directors of companies that are looking to build composite products. This is a show that gives us a wider audience in the non-defence sector and that's why we're here. There's some really interesting things going on. Aerospace and automotive remain very strong in terms of technology. But we're seeing now some of that technology being uh, spread into other sectors. We made 1.5 million vehicles in 2014 and we're forecasted to produce 2 million vehicles here in 2020. So I think there's quite a lot to be positive about. Yeah. 
I think if issues such as fuel economy become more and more important, then people like the automotive guys and the aerospace guys are looking to take weight out of their vehicles and vessels. Right now we see a high increasing demand of the carbon reinforced fibers going from the aerospace, now entering the automotive sector and also the rail sector, providing the same strength with less weight. That is the future. It's called the Bulldog and it's a gyrocopter. And using lightweight technology and using the very, very latest know-how, we've made an aircraft that's only 300 kilos in weight. This is a new concept seat designed by Jaguar Land Rover Research Department. Five kilograms lighter than our current baseline seat and it's lighter than all of our competitors. As we know here in the, in the UK, Jaguar Land Rover have adopted that whole range in aluminium now, so that's a tremendous boost for our industry, meeting carbon emissions all across the world, particularly in the automotive and transport sectors. Literally anything you can imagine, there's a chance that we can use aluminium for it. This show is a fantastic showcase for advanced engineering technologies, and my job is to develop inspection techniques that improve those technologies. And if it's going to go into an aeroplane, you want to be sure that it's been assembled correctly and it doesn't contain defects. So there's a very big drive to improve the inspection to give us more consistent results and to tackle the very challenging geometries that these advanced engineering processes enable you to create. The more additive approach is becoming more to the fore. Components that are actually going forward into production. Three, four years ago, they would just be artifacts in someone's desk. Well, this is the first time we've come to the show. We've been very pleased with the outcome. A lot of good clients, a lot of good new leads. As always, this is the third time that I've been here personally. It's a very well attended, very well run show. It's been a great show. Um, it's better than last year and the quality of people that we're seeing is very, very good. It's been a busy show for us. The corridors have been full all the time and there are decision makers. We've had a very, very strong response. It's been really good. It's been a really good vibe. It's been busy and we've met and engaged with lots of people that we probably wouldn't have. Well, this show we experienced last year, it was very successful for us. This year has been even better. It's more technology, more people, more throughput through our stands. So for us, it's a good show to attend. Already this morning has been superb. We've had four or five very, very good contacts. Great event to be at. We've had so many leads, uh, new leads as well. It's been a fantastic show. We've had lots of leads. We've got quite a few companies that are interested in membership of the rail lines, which is great for us. This year's show has been fantastic so far. We've met a lot of interesting people, a lot of potential new clients. Very positive atmosphere to the show this year. Lots of enthusiastic people, interested people, and people wanting to do business. I've enjoyed every minute of it. It's an incredible opportunity to talk to the vendors face to face, get some expertise, transfer some knowledge, and I'm very, very impressed. I think it's fantastic. I think it's the best year yet. We've found the show to be very valuable. I think the show's been good, you know, we've, we've met lots of people we wouldn't have otherwise met. An eye-opener to see new businesses here, new companies that we can always see look towards working with in the future. Yes, very positive day. Very encouraging, I think there's a good atmosphere in the show. Yesterday was extremely busy and today seems to be very positive also. It's been a fantastic show so far, it's very, very positive. We're seeing lots of interest, from not just the aerospace, but from automotive and other medical centres. This is one of our favourite shows. We tend to come back here year after year just because it's such a nice spot for us. It's going really well, the show gets bigger every year and the attendance mix of company directors, buyers and the like from firms across the supply chain makes this an excellent event to attend. Well worth coming. Absolutely, yeah, we'll be back next year.